That says goodbye to that breaker. I'm just going to whack it up now. Okay, guys. Today I've got a special video. This video was suggested by none other than Kyle Bishop. He suggested me to take a consumer unit or breaker panel and test what voltage it can handle. Okay, guys. So here's the breaker panel up close. It is a 100 amp. 12240 split phase panel. I believe it's a uh, sub panel from a, a main system, but you can kind of see that there's been some arcing issues and lots of rusting. And these breakers tend to wear out, wear out over time. I mean, most breakers do, so that's what happens. And just out of shits and giggles, we're gonna test this thing out and see what voltage you can handle. So there's 20 volts. Thirty volts, I believe that would be. What is that? Eighteen hundred volts in the in the breaker panel. Ah, oh, it's lost it at about two thousand volts. Yeah, it's not liking it. You guys want fire? No, I want some fire. I think we tripped a breaker. Okay, now we're going to see exactly what happens to this little 15 amp breaker just there. So I'm kind of interested to see. Yes, I don't have a tripod anymore because mine broke. So I'm gonna have to get a new one. But that breaker right now is opened. So should we see what voltage that breaker will, let's say collapse at? I'm kind of interested to know. Okay, so there's, what was that, 12 volts, 20 volts, so there is 1,200 volts on that breaker already, 30 volts, that's 1,800 volts on that breaker, that's amazing, and I'm not going to push that breaker because I don't feel like having two, uh, 2,000 volts go up my arm, okay. Oh, it's breaking down. I'm turning up the voltage and the voltage is actually decreasing. Oh, yep, there we go. That says goodbye to that breaker. I'm just going to whack it up now. Ooh. Okay, guys, so our next test would be to test out the voltage that these breakers can actually disconnect. And of course we're going to have the load at 15 amps which that breaker is rated at. So let's go ahead and fire this up and see what happens. Okay. Disconnect the power on it and see if it can break the uh, load. There was a bit of a spark down there. Let's try it a couple more times. Once again, about three kilowatts. That seems to do it well. Energize it, and I'm going to extinguish the arc with this screwdriver instead of using my finger because I'm a little bit afraid of that voltage. 70 amps from the Variac. It actually uh, extinguished uh, 552 volts. Wow. 
Wow. That's impressive. Well, that's cool. So it can survive 500 volts. I want to know what the limit is actually to this breaker. So let's move to an even higher voltage. Okay, so we're going to step it up a level. This will be about okay, a thousand so volts. It's closed. We got 1.5 amps. So one and a half amps at a thousand volts. Now let's uh, break that. Oh, that's the end of it, guys. That's not a good sign. Yeah, I don't think so. Now, of course, if we had, you know, 15 amps, you know, at a thousand volts, then that would simply just blow it out. But I'm curious just to see what would happen if we increased it to 2,000 volts. Oh! We got some sparkage going on down there. Yeah. So now you guys can see what's going on in here. This thing will never ever reset. And that's pretty obvious because that uh, contact down there is actually melted down. And you can see that one up there is also very scorched. So everything in here is definitely, it's all discolored, caught fire in the process. Surprisingly, uh, yeah, see if we can actually get that to reset. Maybe we might. Oh no, that's not going to reset. Yeah. Destroyed. You can see the, uh, you can see the uh, tripping coil there. Which obviously heats up and then it trips. This is a good reminder to never apply too much voltage or things like this are going to happen. Destruction. So there we go guys. I hope you liked today's video. It was somewhat fun, uh, destructive and amusing. Um, so yeah, shout out to uh, Kyle Bishop who suggested me to do this video. And we'll definitely do some more stuff in the future. Whether that be suggestions from you guys or suggestions from me. So I'll leave it there guys. Thanks for watching. Have fun. Stay safe. Play safe. And please don't try this at home unless you really...